Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing some things that I am no longer doing when it comes to our home school journey, our days, our routines, things that I am not bringing with us into the next school year. So grab a cup of whatever and let's chat about it. So what I love about homeschool is that as the years go on and as you get to refine what works for you and your kids, you begin to see what doesn't and you are allowed to change. You are allowed to switch up things. You're allowed to get rid of routines or beliefs that no longer um, are serving your family, yourself, your children, everyone, one child, whatever it is, you are allowed to switch it up. So as I'm actively planning next school year and figuring out how our days are gonna look, you know, I, I have our curriculum nailed down, but there's so much more that goes into the homeschool year. It's not just, okay, I have the curriculum, we're set. No, you really have to examine your children, examine yourself, examine your days and see what you are willing to bring into the next school year and see what you might need to just let go and, and try from a different angle, try something new um, and see where it leads you. So there are a couple things that I'm letting go of for this upcoming school year and I'm just gonna share those. And in the comments below, talk to me, let me know what are you letting go of? What are you no longer doing in the upcoming school year that you might've done um, in past school years? All right, so I'm gonna get so much hate for this one, but the one, <laughs> because I swore by this, because in my defense, the last two years of homeschooling, the last, um, you know, seasons of my life, I lived by this, it saved us. I would not have been able to homeschool if I didn't do this, but moving forward, we're not gonna do it anymore because I'm thriving now, okay? I'm not just in a season of surviving, I am thriving, I feel like. So we are no longer gonna do block scheduling. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I like swore by it and I still do. I still do, but for the curriculum that we're doing and for what each kid needs and the goals of each kid, I've decided that block scheduling is now behind us and we are going to be doing pretty full days, um, especially with the boys. Like they really, only have, Teo has like two subjects. He's gonna be doing those every day. Um, Titus has a couple more, but again, he can do them every day. And then journeys might look a little different. It might, journeys might be this dance between block and every day, don't quite know yet, um, depending on what she can handle because her load is heavy this year. But I do know that block scheduling for the main part isn't coming into the next school year with us. Another thing that is no longer coming into the school year with us, I'm like giggling every time I begin to say this because I don't know, we're just, we've outgrown these things. So the next thing is morning basket. Ah, I know, I know, I know. I've decided that morning basket, I love it. I truly love it. But what happens is we start our morning basket and we love it and we're like reading or we're playing a game or we're doing our mental health stuff. And what happens is instead of charging us up to be really successful for the rest of the day, it kind of puts this like relaxed vibe into the atmosphere. And then we're just kind of really relaxed. We're getting school done, but I need more laser focus this year. And so we're not gonna be doing morning basket like at all, not even a version of it. We are gonna be doing something in the morning, but it's not, it's not a together thing. It's not like, it's not what you think. Um, so yeah, bye bye morning basket. It was so fun while that season lasted, but now we are, we're, we're not doing it. I know, I know, it's sad. Another thing that I'm completely changing up is our starting time. So if you have been following me, we're pretty relaxed. Like I am a super relaxed homeschool mom, especially when it comes to schedule. I do not believe in schedules at all. I believe in a, a flow and a routine and the kids should know what's coming next, but I don't believe in a time schedule. 
until now. Um, and I'm still gonna be very flowy, like trust me, you can't take the flow out of me. But what I do wanna be disciplined in is our starting time. I do no, I no longer want it to be 10.30, 11 o'clock and we haven't started school. I want school to start at nine o'clock on the dot every single morning, period, period. So that is the goal. Um, I am going to be very disciplined with, okay, we're starting at nine. I don't care what time we finish, but we are starting at nine. Um, that will be the only like time um, point in our day. Like I said, everything else can flow, but we need to be sitting down, starting our schoolwork by 9 a.m. I really hope, I really hope I can stick to that goal because I really, really want it. So I'm going to stick to it. The next thing that I'm completely changing up <laughs> is we're not going to have any extracurriculars for the first semester of school. And there's like a, a, a sound reason for that, which I'll get into when I share like my vision and our word of the year and what, you know, all of that in a video. But there, there is a sound reason for it. I'm not just depriving them, but um, there's going to be a lot going on for our family uh, the first semester of homeschool. So we've decided to just no extracurriculars. We're going to take it easy. There's going to be plenty to do, uh, just not like we're committed to baseball. We're committed to acting. We're committed to art classes, like none of that. Um, we're going to be committed to a lot, but not extracurricular. So again, I'll go more into the reasoning behind that in a later video, but no extracurriculars for first semester. And the last thing that I'm changing is our number of read alouds. So I always have like a whole stack of read alouds that I want to attack and do for the year. And what I've decided is it's not necessarily the number, it's not the um, quantity, it's the quality of read aloud. So this year I'm sticking to like maybe four, maybe five, but I think we're, Right now, all I have is four solid read alouds that go with our word of the year, that go with our theme of the year, and that's gonna be enough. I don't need to have, I, we don't need to read aloud 15 books a year. We can read aloud special books to us, books that go with our theme and our word and what we're discovering this homeschool year. And that's enough. All right, guys, so I really just made this video to also give you permission to not have to do everything the same this upcoming school year. It is okay to get rid of systems that no longer serve you. It's okay to try something new. Even if you fail, even if I fail at making 9 a.m. our start time, it's okay to try. Um, I just wanna give you guys permission to mix it all up and take chances and do whatever you want when it comes to your homeschool and your children and yourself. These systems that you create for your family have to work for your family. It also has to work for everyone, not just the kids. It has to work for you too. It has to, if you have a husband, it has to work or make sense to him. Have things that serve the entire family. And if it's not, if it's like, if you have something in place that's just bringing frustration or tears or bad attitudes, don't be afraid to try something new. All right, ladies, talk to me in the comments below. It was so good chit-chatting with you this morning. Click that red subscribe button if you haven't. Give this video a big thumbs up. Tell all your friends about us, and we will be back again with another video soon. Bye, guys. Bye.